on the double steal, what happened there, and and what would you have done differently? When when uh, through the when second, you, the guy, yeah. I um for a second I thought that um, just pump fake, but I don't know. Like I had the feeling that I had a little shot, and that's why I threw the second. Pump fake, but what? Pump fake. Yeah. Just, uh, I have little thought that not throw the second, but I was already on the motion, and I ended up throwing the second. Because you kind of realized too late that he was going to come yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah, I was already in start my motion, and by the time that I thought to stop, I just couldn't. What do, you, what do you make of the way that teams are running on you over the past week or so? I mean, it happens in baseball. You know, I think uh, just picking the right spot to run, and they're doing it. How hard is the game like this on the team just when, you know, little mistakes seem to add up over the course of the game? I mean, it's baseball. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, in the beginning of the game, we did everything right, and by the end, we just couldn't finish. What was working for you at the plate today? Just, uh, you know, seeing the ball longer, just get it come to me, not uh, reach for it, and do my best to just heal Andres. Obviously, the situation didn't didn't really present itself the, the, the way that it did, but um, but it was really just to go out there and, and, and to try to compete and, and get those outs as quickly as possible. Johan, did you know going in that you were going to be asked to to be out there just based on, on the lack of pitching, that you were going to be out there for a while? I knew when you were entering the game that you were going to be there for a lot of pitches and more than one inning, knowing the situation of the bullpen. Sí, no, yo estaba preparado mentalmente ya de hace días. Estaba, me siento bien descansado y sabía que cualquier situación me iban a, a usar algo en el juego que me tocaba mucho picheo y estaba preparado mentalmente y físicamente. Yeah, mentally and physically, I was I was prepared for whatever situation. I I, I felt pretty fresh leading up to today and and I knew what the situation was. So mentally and physically, I was ready to go in and and, and really do whatever the team needed to me needed me to do. What's the biggest difference for you, whether it's mechanically or, or something else, when you've got that good command that we saw in the seventh, and then when it starts to go away for a little bit, like we saw in the eighth? Para ti, ¿cuál es la diferencia más grande mecánicamente cuando las cosas te están yendo bien, como estaba en el séptimo inning, y cuando las cosas como te estaban cuando tú estabas cuando lo estabas perdiendo en el octavo? No, solamente me mantuve igual, siempre con control, seguí tirando la bola en la zona de try. Eh, pasaron una cuanta cosa que como el de el de la cruz que eso era incontrolable no podíamos controlar eso le salió en la cosa a ellos y, y no fue un mejor día en, en el momento porque como él hizo Jay Swing le salió de hit y no sigue se, seguí igual normal confiando en mi picheo y, el, y tirándolo en la zona de try no, uh, not, not much was, was, was different for me. Um, I was still trying to command my pitches. I was, I was still trying to, um, to execute w what I was doing. But in a situation that, that you, you really can't control, like the hit that Elita La Cruz had there, it was a check swing, and, and things just kind of ended up going their way. So it really wasn't switching up anything that I was doing. It was just the, the way that things were breaking were, were, were going in their favor. As, but before Steer's home run, and as things are starting to break their way, like De La Cruz's hit, What's running through your mind when each of those things happen? Antes de, de, del home run de Steer y, uh, y, um, y después del hit de, de, de Lidera Cruz, ¿qué es lo que tú estás pensando en ese momento? En atacar siempre a los bateadores en una situación que tarde en el juego y que está arriba siempre de los bateadores y hacerle el picheo de calidad para para que ellos puedan sacar salir del paso lo más rápido posible. Yeah, it's just to attack the attack hitters in that in that situation, uh, make quality pitches in in those at bats to, just to try to get them out in that situation. 